Paul and myself have come right up to the top of the woods to a brand new campsite we've never pitched up in before. Uh, it's right by the edge of the woodland, so we've got a beautiful, nice, cool breeze coming through here, keeping the mosquitoes down. Put the fire on, as you can see. Paul's actually tree, 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 <laughs> tree dwelling today or this weekend. There's a hammock up there. Um, I'm actually in the ditch or over the ditch with my hammock there. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to have a lovely view right out across the fields. be very nice. I'm also not likely <laughs> to get flooded out. And the drawback is on connected to a rather large oak tree. So my my uh, webbing is very close to the end. But that'll be fine. Gotta put the bug net up and sleep bag in yet yeah, so uh, we're just gonna have a little wander around now it's about coming up to midday Friday. So we're get, we're gonna make a very long weekend of this. Looking forward to it. It feels like I haven't been out for ages. What a beautiful day. This really, really is fantastic. And what a view I've got from my bedroom. <laughs> it's awesome. Seven, I can see. This young one in the middle. The hunter resting after his weary travels. <laughs> I 
I'm resorting to boiling the bag, not boiling, but hang over the fire. So let's toss up, let's toss up to see wh whether it's going to melt before it's warmed the rice through. I'll let you know how that goes. It's only, it's not in the flame, it's just above it in the, the rising heat. And also got tuna fish next to the fire, not on the fire. So it's just warming through as well. It won't be hot, it'll just be warm. If I try and put it on the fire, obviously it's going to explode. Well, it's been about half an hour now. A bit longer. Um, I think just about to see it's, it's really a lot of condensation in there, so it's obviously got hot inside, and hopefully that steamed it enough. I just think so, over half an hour. Now we we'll give it a go. It's nice to know that I'm I'm not the worst one for uh, kit fruits. <laughs> He's got more stuff than you can shake a stick. Expensive toys. Fish are just lovely and warm. That's a good result there. And the rice was um, sort of half cooked properly and some of it was still a little bit hard, especially towards the top. Um, and the very, very bottom was a little bit singed, I suppose. But Oh, you know, if I had taken it off halfway through and squished it all around to try and move it around and disperse the heat better, um, that would have been a really good success. Uh, the other benefit of this is obviously there's no washing up, so that would just go <laughs> straight, straight in the refuge. We do like it when we don't have to wash up.
Vipers. Quarter to seven in the morning. Oh, oh. make sure there's no stuff in there. No, better not use that. I've got the time right down there. Okay. Right, there's carrots, leeks. Uh, well, yeah, onions, peppers. Rabbit, pheasant. Yeah, it's good, it's good, yeah. And some pork belly. Oh, yeah. some pork belly. <laughs> Not pheasant, sorry. <laughs> Big pigeon. Rather yeah. large pigeon. <laughs> All forage. Got some foraged horseradish leaves in there as well now. The dangers of uh, having fires on ground that is uh, very deep or thick peat is that you get fires smouldering underneath. You'll see these. This is obvious bit here where it's dark patch. There's burning away underneath. So the only way to control it is digging this back. There you go. There's the ember. So we've had to dig dig this back quite far just to try and keep the fire under control. Stop it spreading. What we don't want to happen is when we leave here is for this to be smouldering away and unsuspected underneath. So we have to go over this area with water and make sure it's all doused as well. Look before we go out. Mr. P. 